It's your boy Nero. Welcome to the first episode of T3MU TV. I got a special guest in the building. Casamigos Poppy, <laughs> the one on one king, the man who get buckets after buckets, my guy Renee. What it is, bro? What it is? What's good, my Chillin boy? Shit, I'm chilling. Chilling? You know, on this Friday, cooling it. Feel sure, me? yeah. You ready for a lit interview? Yeah, you all ready. Let's get it. Let me get some more questions. So, what made Renee start playing basketball? So, I remember I was like, what was I? I was like eight, six to eight, I was a soccer player. My parents from Honduras. So it was lit, all soccer. Like you know, I loved it, and I went to the English boys and I went to the English boys and girls club. I went to the English boys and girls club. Yep. And um, my dad, one of the counselors, told my dad I was really good at hoop. Yeah. My dad was like, "You sure?" Then I went to brothers, mm -hmm. and I seen the Dana Barris camp thing. And I'm like, "Yo, I gotta go to that camp, Dad. Shout I gotta out to go." Brothers, man. Shout out to brothers, <laughs> ill pancakes and all. <laughs> So my dad brought me in that camp, and that's how it started. And yep. I, I felt like I was a natural talent from the jump. Facts, facts, facts. So where did you start playing at, at first? So after that camp, I started playing at the Dorchester Y. Okay. I think I was playing both divisions. Though. I think there was like a 9 under, like a 13. But I think I was playing both. And like, you know, I remember we was playing sideways, and it was light. I remember I was getting 20, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I played in the Roxbury League, too. Yep. Shout out to T-Rich. Yeah, shout out to T-Rich. Shout out to T-Rich, sure. yep, yep. really. All right, so... um. What was Renee like growing up? Renee was, you know, I think I think I'm the same. I think I'm the same. I'm real goofy. <laughs> Renee used to drool a lot. Yeah. Like <laughs> damn near you you may still catch him drooling once yeah. in a while, but like goofy, just energetic and always good vibes like I am now for sure. Yeah. Facts, facts, facts. I know you had that that cockiness to you, that swag, that like yeah. you, you just can't fuck with me. Exactly. Like, I'm that exactly, dope. exactly. So talk about playing for all for one, man. So yeah, man, I, I was on all for one and um we came out the Roxbury wide. It was like nine or ten of us that was all stars. Yep. And then we went to Cape Cod, and then like fifth, we went to Cape Cod just for tournaments. We was winning. Yep. So fifth or sixth grade, we decided to make an AAU team. We had a couple of guys, and and that's how it started. We became a family, and we were together from eight, no nine or ten to like, you know, fifteen, sixteen. And those are still my brothers to this day. So family. Yep. So we won a bunch of state chips couple regional chips Ooh. we was them guys for sure and that's when you and uh kenny p uh put on that that famous duo y'all got right? yeah my boy kenny Reed was a different breed you know he was bro crazy he helped me he helped me get, he gave me that heart type like you know what i mean like anything any anytime he brought that toughness to our team which kind of helped me because i was kind of so i could get yep. dirty but i was a little bit soft yeah, so dude. every time the game got gritty, he used to really get on me to make sure I got gritty with him. Yeah, like, Nay, let's take these boys. Let's get exactly, on. Exactly, exactly. Nice. Nah, Kenny was definitely tough in his heyday. Mm -hmm. Played him in middle school. He gave us hell. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> tough. It's different. So, um, so now, so what was your fam What was your favorite basketball player growing up, though? My favorite basketball player, for sure, was Kobe Bryant. R.P. is so, but yep. Kobe Bryant, I, I just think I liked him. I was, he was kind of the villain because the Celtics, Lakers, but. I feel like he was the best player in the NBA. Like, it's a much watched TV every trip. Yeah, bro. Kobe going to put on a show every trip. Every trip. Every trip, my boy. And shoot Kobe. the ball and never pass. You know yeah. how that yeah, go. Yeah, like, yeah. he's going to keep shooting them. I just like that mentality. Fact. Me and Kobe had like a love and hate relationship. Yeah. Because I was Boston fan after. Yeah, him. yeah, of course. But, of yo, course. Bro, you got to respect his work Have ethic to. and what he do. I have to. So, yeah. So, you was playing with. Uh, all for one. And yeah. You started making real noise, and then BABC yeah. started calling. Yeah. Talk about that. So, so my freshman year, my freshman year of high school, I went to Mill High. Yeah. And we ended up winning a state chip. Yeah. So it was lit. Mm -hmm. It was definitely, you know, it was a great experience for me. So after that, BABC they kept calling, and I ended up going to Beaver to repeat. So once the BABC called, I had to make that move. You yep. know, everyone. I remember we used to hate. They used to walk in with the Nike shoes. Yep. I was like, oh, they think they mad. Ew, all the bro. gear. All, all the gear. gear. Like, all, B A B C on the on the uh, sweater. Oh, the my God. Like, like, people forget that. Like, you know, when the Elite Socks came out, the black and white Elite Socks came out. Like, those, like, the, the basic ones. Yeah. People were dying to get those. Bro. I remember, like, like I'm, you know, I'm always a given person, unselfish. Yep. All my bros that don't play, like, yo, I want them at least, so I'm handing them out, like, yeah. hey, I got you, brody. Yo was getting those off yeah. the arm? Off the arm. Bro. I was giving it to, because I remember, that's when everyone, like, now everyone has colors, but yo, it was so crazy. The, 
you won the ones with the lines on the ball. Yep, you know yep, that yep, 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 You yep, won those. Black and white ones. Black and white ones. Me and, my, Simple, me yeah. and Trey definitely got a pair. We yep. took a train to go get some before a tournament, For but sure. we was late and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dudes was like, yo, y'all got a lease? So I was like, yeah, yeah. we about to put on We about to put on the show. <laughs> So so uh talk do you have a favorite teammate for BABC? Um or you could give us like two or three or even the whole team. Yeah, I mean I mean the whole team was ill. Who who I'm probably closest to is Wayne, you know Wayne um Wayne Seldy we ended up going to Kansas playing the league. He's back on the Knicks right now. Word. Shout out to Shout Wayne. Shout out my man. boy Wayne. He's about to get you, he's about to get right. So I I feel like, you know, me and him were very close throughout the years and stuff. Fast, for fast. sure, that's my guy. Okay, and then playing with BABC, y'all mm-hmm. win, y'all win the um, Peach Jam, right? So playing with BABC, we won the Peach Jam, and we won two national championships. And I remember it was just crazy because like you're looking at the best talent. So name some players on that team. On my team, yeah. On so that on my BABC team, so that, was, that won the um, yep. Peach Jam. So it was me, Jalen Brantley. He ended up going to Maryland. Yep. And then we had Nerlens Noel. He's a pro. He went to Kentucky. Yeah. We had Jake Lehman. He went to Maryland. He was a pro. George Ball. Niang went to Iowa State. Ball. Wayne Selden, Kansas, and a pro. Ball. And then we had um, Good Luck. Good Luck, Oklahoma. He went to UNLV. So it was like that team was just stacked. And I remember the best team we probably played mm-hmm. was a um, CIA bounce. They had Andrew Wiggins and Anthony Bennett. That's two oh top number one gosh, picks. Bro. And then they had a 7'4 Indian kid. And then they had Tyler Man. Ennis, Xavier. They got like five or six and y'all pros. Beat them. We beat them. We probably beat them in overtime. Okay. I think in the quarterfinals, something like that. It was crazy now. I mean, before we ain't know, but now. We knew Andrew Wiggins was the guy, though. Yeah. Was that one of y'all toughest games? And the EYB, that was our toughest. That was probably like our toughest game. Every other game we won by like 14 plus, I think, towards then. Like, it was light. Okay, okay, okay. So how was it playing for Leo? Was it tough? With Leo, it was tough. It was tough. I think like in the beginning, you know, he's really hard on you. Mm-hmm. But once he trusts you, yeah, it's lit. Like you know, you know what I mean. Like once he trusts you, he lets you play. Like once he believes in your ability. So once he trusts me, he knows I play right basketball. He's not really screaming that much, but he expects a lot from you. Nah, I believe it, bro. He's had some some tremendous players come through for BABC exactly. and play. He got, I don't even know how. You, the, the name of pros go, go unless You don't even know. Yeah, the, Everybody done played for BABC. Like everyone you've ever imagined from the 80s and 90s done played for BABC. Yeah, bro. I be seeing it on that dude's page, Joe 617. Yeah, Joe 617. Shout out to Joe Shout 617. Out to Joe, yo, he's, showing us love. Yo, he's really, he's yo, like the bro. historian. Like, he, anything you don't know, he's letting you yeah, know. You in every, in every facet, every area. So it's lit. Nah, that's a Fendi. For sure. So so now we're going to switch it up to, to high school. So yep. you went to Milton. Was yep. that by choice? Yeah, yeah. So at 11 years old, I went from Seaver and Dorchester, and I went to um, I was going to Newton Public School. But mm-hmm. once I moved to Milton, you gotta live in, um, you gotta go to Milton schools. So that's how I went. Ended oh, up going okay. to Milton High my freshman year. So you go to Milton High your freshman year. Yep. You don't start off on Voss. You play no. JV. Yep. And then what happens? So I ended up playing JV because I didn't get the tryout because my physical. Yeah. So you know what I mean. I'm struggling a little bit mentally. I think I should be on varsity, but you know I'm sticking it out. I'm going hard. The last six games they moved me up, so it was lit. And I I played some. I was playing 10, 15 minutes. I got a. I remember I had a couple of buckets. Yep. And and then after that, I remember we won the JV tournament. My coach was like, "Yo, we about to win the state." My assistant coach. I'm like, "Yeah, all right." Like, word. I'm not sound. even on the squad. Yeah, I'm, I'm barely playing. Like, it wasn't. I'm like, "Yo, they got some horses." Like, I know OB. They got OB. Yep. They got Kuku. They got you know what I mean. They got people. They, they got, got Ike. So it's oh, like, so y'all had to run into. No, no, no. no. We ended up playing CM later okay. on, but it was one. I'm like, I, I just knew who was in there. I'm like, there's no way we're winning this championship. Yeah. So I end up playing, and we end up in our big matchup. Was uh, we ended up playing tech, yep, you know, yeah, yeah. I ended up playing <laughs> yeah. tech. My boy Esco has yes. 44 on us. Was um, what's that dude? Uh, Darius, Darius Carter, Carter. and you know, he played, but we ended up winning by 15. So, like, it was at Mill, and so it was lit, but you know, y'all they didn't, yeah, get us. they didn't get us, y'all always yeah. get us, bro. And I remember, I remember we played CM. And that was the game like we were supposed to lose right before the guard. And yep. everyone, like, I even thought, like, that's the team because they got Danny Brooks. They got a bunch yep. of guys, Allen Harris. But we ended shout up. Shout out to Danny, yeah, too. Shout out, that's my guy. So we ended up, so we ended up, you know, beating them. I remember I had close to triple double. I had like nine points, nine assists, and eight rebounds okay. of freshman. So it was okay. lit. It was lit. So you then we go to the Garden. Good. We play Woburn and uh-huh. we're down nine. It's 54 40, something like that. We're down nine with two minutes and 45 seconds. 
and I just scored the last 13 points. I kind of just went ballistic. And I remember I hit the game when it was seven seconds. They come back down, and um, my boy picks him. Uh -huh. Game over. And, mm -hmm. I, and like that was when I, like, that's when like I really became known. After that moment, as a freshman, yeah, you know, a buzzer beater yeah, for, for the game. semis, and then we won the state championship by 30. And I just remember the whole town of Milton came. I had my own chant, like, what? Renee, you know Renee, me? Renee. Yeah, I was like, yo, <laughs> this is, whatever's happening, this is lit. Like, you, you know, me? let me like, keep hooping on those. Nah, facts. And you did it in a JV uniform, right? Yeah, I had the whole they JV didn't even uniform. They didn't give you the real joint. Like, I had, they didn't even give me a real joint. I had yellow and black kicks. I dressed this red. I was looking crazy <laughs> out there. But hey, you put on a show and you, you sure. was the most important part to get into that championship. Exactly. exactly. It was a good thing they added you, bro. For sure. If they didn't, you, you know, know, they would never. Who knows? They bro. haven't. Miller hasn't won a state chip since. Bro, have they? That nah, was their first one ever? No, nah, nah, I think a second or third, but they haven't won one since. Damn, that's special, though. Yeah, yeah All right, for sure. so you stay at Milton for that one year, then you yeah. transfer to Beaver. Yeah, Beaver, yep. Talk about that. Beaver, I mean, it was a different experience. You know, it was a prep school. It was a day school. There was no one living there, but it was a prep school. Yeah. And, I mean, it was great. Like, everyone showed me love, but for me personally, the basketball competition was way too easy. Like, it was light. Mm -hmm. I had a 1,000 a year and a half. Yep. You feel me? Like. It was easy. it was easy. I'm easy. like, yo, I didn't even win MVP of the league. Our team came in first place. Mm -hmm. I didn't even understand it. Like, wow, but it so, was a great experience overall. And you, and so why didn't you stay and break Wayne Turner's record? I know Wayne Turner. I remember he had like 2,500. I yeah. had like a, I would I would have got that. I would have been close. Yeah. But it was just like I felt like it wasn't even counting. Like when he was playing, he was playing against them dogs. Dogs. Like, yeah. Like at the top. Me, I wasn't playing against them dogs. Yeah. So even if I broke it, there would have almost been an asterisk. You feel me? I'm playing against mm -hmm. low, lower competition. Yeah. So I had to get up out of there for sure. Yeah, yeah. I had to so get you up spent a year and a half there? I spent two years there. So it was two okay. years and, and I got a thousand a year and a half season. Right? That's different. Mm -hmm. So you so you leave so you leave Beaver now because yeah. you feel like you know you might need to up the competition. Yep. Yeah. So you go to Worcester Academy. Yep. Yeah. And what's the academy is where you become Gatorade Player of the Year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So mm -hmm. talk about um talk about there and like the change there. Yeah, what's the it was In different the competition. Yeah, what's the it was difficult because like you had I was living there, fam. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean. Like I'm really out the crib from like Monday through Sunday, like living there to study hall. They 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 they're telling you what time to go to sleep. Yeah. You know what I mean. So it was difficult for me at first, but we had to wear ties. They was taking your phone away. I'm like, yo, bro, what's up? Yeah. Like, like they're not playing. Really but overall, through the basketball, it was the greatest concept. Every team had two to three Division One players, so it was like, you know what I mean. Now it was really time to prove myself. So when I got there, it was lit. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like like we, like we hooping, and then like towards the end of the season, we need a couple games to make like you know come in a better seat for the playoffs. I remember I had like I had six, I think six thirty point games in a row, yep. some, something like that, like seven out of eight. And the one game I missed, it was twenty nine. Ooh, yeah. so you went, and then that's where you became Gatorade Player of the Year. Exactly so you averaged, that year. So you averaged about let me see twenty three points. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You had uh three point four rebounds, two point yeah. one assists, and one yeah. point. Six steals, yeah, which is I'm impressed on the yeah. steals. You know how you are. <laughs> you know how to be Facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dogs. So talk. So talk about that. We'll talk about the experience with the coach at Worcester. How was that? Yeah, I mean he was great. He brought me in. I was probably his first recruit because he was a new coach for that year. Okay. And he, he told me he's gonna let me be myself, and he mm -hmm. had trust in me. So I helped build his program, and you know he was great to me. He was, he's a player coach. He's still there, Jamie Sullivan. Shout out to him. Shout out, Jamie yep, Sullivan. Yeah, that's my guy. Yes, sir. And it, it was it was fantastic. Like I said, I ended up winning a Gatorade Player of the Year, and my senior year we ended up winning a chip because I tore my shoulder. I still played, but my shoulder was torn. So I really couldn't do what I wanted. To, my senior year, I won a Gatorade my junior year, but my senior year, I messed up my shoulder. I couldn't. I played, but I could barely lift up my shoulder. Damn. Yeah. So that that when what's the academy is home where Jerry Jack went. Yeah, you know Jerry Jack, Craig Smith. There's a bunch of guys that's went there that's, that's super that tough. Balled out. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So um so you at Worcester now yeah. and then it's your senior year. So talk about the recruitment. Oh yeah, so so the recruitment coming down, you know, is what's the couple schools that was at you, name them. So I had a couple of schools. So I had Duquesne school, you know, the school I ended up at Atlantic Ten. I had um George Washington, Atlantic Ten. Temple was on me somewhere. I had Pitt. Mm -hmm. So I had a couple of high majors. I had Butler. Butler ended up coming in the picture. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, 
I was getting so much interest, and it's hard to deal with these schools. These schools like really calling you every day. You know what I mean? You kind of almost get tired of the process because they're all calling you. So you know, you you, you kind of want to just pick the school um, that you want to go to and stuff. So it was lit. So any recruiting trips that you went on? Yes, I went on George Washington, Duquesne, and Butler. And how was that? They did and anything it, special for nah, you? Nah, it was love. It was all love. You know what I mean? You go to five-star restaurants. You eat the best food. They go out. But I remember George Washington. I remember my last day. They ended up having a cake with my face on it. What? They had a nice little cake. And I'm like, oh, this is lit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what I mean? It was definitely come it. from the, We come from the trenches. Yeah. So when we see something for us, it's like, yo, yeah, nah, that's what's up. Nah, it was Like, I might want to sign here right now. Exactly. <laughs> that's how I felt. Like, I was, you know? Yeah, for, for real. sure. So I ended up going. All the visits was, you know, lucky. You know, I'm, I'm, I was blessed to be in that position. Facts. For, you know, co- coaches to offer me school, full scholarships and stuff. Mm-hmm. Was any of them coming to your games at Worcester Academy? Yeah, yeah, they came a couple of my games. It was coming up. A couple of them, I think all three of them's been in my crib. At least one. I remember Brad was at my crib when I was I was at school. Yep. Brad went to go see my my dad's job, I'm pretty sure. The yeah. Duquesne coaches went to go see my dad's job. Like, yeah, they was in there with my family. Yeah. You know, like when they really want a kid, whoever they want, it's lit. It's a recruitment trip. Yep. How was the recruitment trip? The recruitment trips was crazy. I went, ended up going to Duquesne, mm-hmm. George Washington, and Butler. And, you know, five-star restaurants. Yeah. You know, you're getting any type of food you want. We're going out. Mm-hmm. And it was lit. You know, George Washington, at the end of my recruitment, they ended up having a cake with my face on it with me. And, you know, I'm like, oh, this is fire, you know? Yeah. So it was just so much love telling you why they want to go to school. Like, you know, I'm blessed to even go on one of those. Everything paid for you. My parents got to enjoy it, you know? Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, it that's was lit. You know what I mean? It was lit. You get to see everything in the city, you know? In fact. So for what sure. made you pick Butler, though? So Butler, you know, Brad Stevens, I felt like he was, you know, he was the guy. Like, I felt like, you know, he'd he been to two Final Fours, and he's really good of getting a player of my stature, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, underrated players technically nationally to become, you know, a high-level player and show, right. you know, their, most of their talent. So I think he was great at, you know, showing that. So I was like, yeah, it's a no-brainer, you know. He's the guy. Like, he's very good. He's a mastermind. Yep. He knows how to put players in right position to succeed. Fact. So I was like, yo, it's lit, you know. Like, I'm excited. I'm a Butler Bulldog. I remember yeah. I used to, when I committed, yeah. I remember I called. and I was just so happy. I remember I bought a Butler snapback. Mm-hmm. I was wearing, I don't even wear hats because my ears look crazy. <laughs> yo, bro, I had it on everywhere. I'm talking about... It was a white and black hat. I'm wearing it with an orange sweater, blue. Like you know what I mean? Like it yeah. don't even match. Like I mm-hmm. don't even care. Like yo, this is where I'm going. Y'all this better what, know. Yeah, you know what I mean? This like, is what I'm rocking. This, this is where I'm Butler, going. Baby. I'm a, I'm That's a, how it be though. I'm a bull, though. And you know, off the Butler, like I just remember, like yo, like it's going. Like I'm like to be in gyms, like little, you know, gyms out here. He's going to Butler. He's going. To Butler. You know what I mean? Yeah, I used yeah, to be like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? I That's felt lit. like one of them guys when I was young. Yeah. So you touched down on Butler. How mm-hmm. was that? It was great. It was great. It was it was in the city of Indianapolis, mm-hmm. you know, small city, small campus feel. And, you know, I, I enjoyed it for the time I was there. You know, it was, it was a little bit different, Yeah. but, like, I Did loved it. Did you get it. there before Brad left? Or? Nah, so I, so let me tell you this story. I, let me tell you this story. So Brad yeah. Brad gets there. He's my coach. Three weeks, he's like, yo, emergency meeting. We all get in there. I'm thinking, like, I don't even know what to think. Maybe someone got cancer. Like, I'm yeah. like, well, you know what's going on? You don't know what to expect. As as he's talking, he's about to announce what he's about to say. Everybody's phone in the room. Ding, 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 ding. I'm like, yo, like, what's happening? Like, we don't even know. And, like, once you heard a couple of things, he was like, I'm going to the Boston Celtics. I'm the head coach. He was crying, so it really meant the most to him. Yeah. So it was tough for him. I'm like, yo, like, damn, like, yeah. like, like, it was weird because you know I'm from Boston, so it's yeah. like, you brought me all the way to Indy, mm-hmm. and then you gonna come all the way to Boston. I remember we, I asked him, we all, because he got a couple of interests from Minnesota, but yeah. he didn't expect to get a Boston job. That's what Boston or LA is the top two jobs, you know, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah, market yeah, yeah. wise. Market wise, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, yo, I was just shocked, more like, damn, I don't went all the way to Indianapolis, like, as an East Coast kid. Sometimes for some people, it's just stay somewhere on the East Coast. Yeah. As a, you know, Midwest kid, stay so like, that doesn't happen, but I think that, but like, you know, he was so special. Yeah. And when he left, I was just like, yo, that's crazy. Like, he really went to my city. Yeah. But he showed my people's love. He used to, my mom has a day kid. He then came by a couple, like, you know, wow. a couple years when he first started. His wife, you know, dropped a couple of toys, tried to help him out. So that's what's he up. showed real love. Shout out no to Brad Stevens yep, for that. Shout out to that for sure. So 
He leaves. So what? So so how's your mind? How's, how's so your process? so we get the how's new that? coach, mm-hmm. and you know I struggle like like a lot of a lot of kids struggle. Like it, yeah. it, it was, it was probably the toughest experience in my life because, you know, I've never been on the bench like most kids. Yeah. But I had a lot of trouble because I know a lot of kids just play high school. Like I played against number one future, number one picks, yeah. the best players, and I had 15, 16. So when I wasn't playing, I struggled. I didn't do the right thing. Yeah. I wasn't going to the gym, still working on my opportunities. I got a couple opportunities. I didn't play the way I was supposed to. Fact. So that was on me. You mm-hmm. feel me? No, for so real. Like, but like, like now looking back, I didn't handle adversity at all right. Would so, you change it? Yeah. I would change the way I handled it. Okay. Not my experience, but the, I just didn't handle it. Like, you know, like, Coming up, I'm just like I have to be in the game. Nah, like, coming it's up, tough. bro, it, you was never out the game. So yeah. for you to go to the biggest stage, it's like, and all right, what am I doing? Doing wrong? it exactly. You know what I'm like, like, that's always your cue. Like, what am I doing wrong? Exactly. Let me fix it and let's move on from facts, here. Facts, facts. But it was a great experience. You know, I'm happy I went through it. I'm happy because I'm able to share my story with others, and you know, hopefully, it'll be able to influence them. Like, now nah, I'm gonna keep working. Like. You know what I'm trying to say? Nah, like, facts. Help facts, others facts. through my story. Sometimes when you when you gotta weather the storm, you just gotta go through it. Bro. Facts. You know what facts, I'm saying? So facts. I feel where you're coming from. Facts. So you at Butler, it's not really working out how you expect. So now you you sitting on the bench, you're not really playing, something you're not really used to. Facts. So does the does transferring go, come through your mind? Yeah, come trans- to your mind? yeah, for sure. It's just it, it really came to my mind just because this wasn't, you know, the head coach and the main assistant that was there that that really seen me play and Brad, they both was out of there. So mm-hmm. and I struggled. So at that point it was like these weren't the coach that recruited me. I don't know how much belief they had. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like that's how it goes, you know. Certain coaches see certain things. So yeah. I ended up, you know, I ended up like, Yeah, I think it's best if I transfer. And then did did um certain teams hit you like or was it you that like, was like nah, nah, nah. Duquesne ended up hitting me as soon as you transfer portal. Duquesne ended up hitting me, mm-hmm. and you know a couple other schools, and they was just telling me like, yeah, we still want you, Duquesne. I wanted. It's like, yo, we still wanted you, and I felt like it was a no brain. I felt like a bunch of high majors. When, when you're at the high major level, I've heard a couple guys say like, the lowest I'll go is the eight ten. Yeah, I'm not going no <laughs> lower than the eight. I heard mad kids. <laughs> I see a bunch of high major like they're gonna transfer to eight ten because that league's still respected because. Usually get three to four um, NCAA teams in it, yeah, and in, in a tournament. In a lot of leagues, you only get one, so A ten is really respected. So A ten where it's at, if you want to transfer, right? Facts. <laughs> so if you high major or if you low major, you're performing. Yeah, the A ten is the perfect like mid league to get busy. It's okay. a guards league, so you know. So you go to Duke, Duquesne, yeah. right? Yeah. So talk about the who was the coach there when you first got uh, Jim there? Ferry. Jim Ferry. Okay. How how was Jim Ferry? Now he was great. He was running gun. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it, it was a great experience under him. Is I, that your style? Like, what is look, your style? I don't know. So, like, I think I'm not the fastest player, so I like running gun, but I still be pushing it, and I like I, I like to try to get up a lot of shots and score. Yep. So I feel like I am running gun, yep. but I can also play, you know, the slower pace because mm-hmm. I'm not the fastest. And I'm cerebral, and my IQ is kind of high. So it was a mixture. I don't know. Like, like I feel like I could do both. Yep, yep. So I enjoyed it. You want everyone want to get shots. So I enjoyed it. But I remember my sophomore year, I get after my red shirt. I played it first. I struggle. I wasn't there mentally. I don't play again that year. Mm-hmm. I swear. Like, and this is at Duquesne. Yeah. I'm like, yo, like, this is real, like, struggle. Like, yeah. I'm handling it the worst. I'm like, yo, like, I can't play at this level. Like, what? Like, I'm not. You know what I mean? It was, it was you start questioning your ability. Like, it's. It's extremely difficult. Yeah. You know, you're coming back to your hood. Yeah. There's nothing to really say. Yeah, you're D one, but you're not you didn't even play. Like yeah. see you later. You feel me? So dudes is on your back like, yo, yeah. what's going on? What's going on? That's not the name I know. Exactly. But exactly. deep down, they gotta know that it's a dog fight when they go up. That's a there's another dude at your school that's the man where he come from. Exactly. There's like fifteen of y'all. There's so, you fifteen. Know exactly. So, and you gotta be really like that's why you always gotta continually work. If you work for four years, you're eventually gonna get that chance you're gonna shine. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. For sure, for sure. So you go to Ukraine and mm-hmm. you when you first start off there, it's a little slow start. Just like it, yeah. But you get a year under you, and then you talk. This is your junior year. Yep. So now my junior year, I end up averaging seven. You know, I had a couple big games. Eighteen, I had a couple twenty. Yep. So I, I fifteen, I had a couple good games. So you know, my confidence getting back. We didn't win that many games, but I had a great. You know, I finally, I, I can get a couple buckets out here. Yep. You feel me? 
So I was like, oh, it's lit. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, finally. And then my junior year, our coaches get fired. Oh, damn. I'm like, all right, like, all right. But it was all good. I feel like I didn't have the career. I said, you know what? These new coaches come in, Keith Dembra. Okay. And he coached LeBron in high school, the first coach. He's on the, he's on his um, DVD. Yeah, the more than a yeah, life. Yeah, more than I mean, a, more than a game. More than a game. Yeah, more than a game. So yeah. more than a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That coach was fired up, bro. Yeah, he was I wasn't lit. playing for him. Yo, he's I know a, he's like... Every day you got to bring that energy. Yeah, yo, he's a player's coach. He's lit. Like, you can go in, you can say, you can talk to him about anything. Oh, okay. That's why I think he's, you know what I mean? He's one of, and he's really good with his exit. And he really wants to win. So he pushes you to that standard. I'm like, yo, relax sometimes. But yeah. nah, he really wants to win. He's all about winning. Yeah. He eats, sleep, dreams, trying to win. So he came your junior year? My senior year, my senior, senior year, my okay. last year. So I was like, yeah, these are my guys. You know, I built a great relationship with most of the coaches on the coaching staff. And they just worked me. They made sure I was consistent. I think yep. that's the key in the game. Like, working out, bad game, good game, go get some shots. Yep. No matter what. Just stay consistent on one path, and, you, and you're going to you know, you're, you're gonna be more consistent in the games. And I think it really worked out for me. Okay, okay. So, talk about your uh, so your senior years where you really, really got under your... Yeah, yeah. I, I finally, I, I was excited. I'm like... Just, you know, like, I finally got some buckets. I averaged 13 out of a couple 20. Uh, you know, I was getting buckets. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, nah, if, you, yep. if you average double digits in college, you, you know, you're pretty good. You're legit. You know what I mean? You're legit. Cause, you got a chance at the A. Yeah, so most of the people average, like, six. You know what I mean? Most of the leading scores in some teams average, like, 16, 17. Some average 20. You know, the difference. So, yep. when you average 30, you, you, um, you're in a good pack. You know, you're getting buckets. You're getting buckets every right. game. You want So, I felt good. I was like, finally, mm-hmm. my confidence is there. I'm finally back. Coaches believe in everything I do, and they believe. So I'm getting back. So that you know that made me happy. That I was able to end my career like that. Facts, facts. So talk about, let's say, one of your favorite games. What was one of your favorite? So my games favorite like games and my favorite game. So we play Pitt. It's called the City Game. Yep. And Pitt, oh my, like you know what I mean? They beat us the last 15 years. The ACC, they always end up beating us. Every year we're supposed to lose. So mm-hmm. it was my junior year, and you know we end up playing Pitt. And I remember I only had like five. I remember I had a big three, like with five minutes. We couldn't score. Yep. I had a big three. And I remember, my, but we was going crazy. When we won, we went crazy that night. Yeah. It was unforgettable. We beat Pitt 15. We was going crazy. It was 20,000 a stand. Oh, my god. It gosh. was crazy. 20,000? 20, 20,000. I know when you hit that shot, it got crazy. Yeah, it got crazy. Like, yo. You barely could hit live. yourself you could be, You got to really be screaming. There's a lot of arenas like that. Yeah. It was hectic, for sure. Okay, okay. So... Your last season you played there, you had a good couple games. And then, so you graduated from Duquesne, right? Yep, I graduated from Duquesne, yep. And then you went on to have like a, you have a pro career right now, actually. Yeah, yep. So I ended up, so right after school, I ended up going to England. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played, you know, I played two months in England. Yes, and you know, right. it was it was a beautiful experience. Everyone speaks English, yep. you know. It's, it's a little like, different, though. It's a little, it's a, it's a little but different, this, yeah. but at least they speak English, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, so, so you it was way like, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was weird. Um, my boys was five hours um, ahead. No, behind, I think. Five hours behind. Yeah, so, yeah. like, so you know, so, like, literally I'm waking up for practice at 8 in the morning. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'm calling, like, 7. I'm probably waking up at 7 before practice at 8. And I'm waking up, on, you know what I mean, on a Friday. I'm calling all my boys. They're up at two in the morning, yeah. about to get them all up and out, bro. You feel me? You feel me? So, so you know, but overall, it was a great experience. I played for the Sheffield Sharks. Mm-hmm. It was like three hours from um, London. Okay. So it was a beautiful experience for yeah, sure. I and then family out in London, so I know. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's lit for sure. Yeah, so I ended up doing that, and then I and then right now I haven't been able to play. You know, you know, and, and this overseas game is. Just a lot of, you know, situational things. Yep, COVID yep. ended up coming up. I tore my meniscus. Oof. So I'm looking for another goal. I was supposed to go to Columbia November 2020, but the deal ended up falling through. Okay. You know, I, we had a press conference. But, you know, things happen. Like, you know, it's the overseas nature. Yeah. So the most thing you can do is stay consistent and, and you know, be ready for your turn. Facts, facts. So for what sure. Is, so besides you working out and getting ready to, you know, maybe go to a new country and play, mm-hmm. what else are you doing? So what I like to do is, um, I, I think the most important thing I would want to do, and I try to do, is you know, just help kids through their journey. You feel yep. me? Pass on that knowledge. Uh, like pass on that knowledge. Like I like, like my biggest thing is you know, working out kids that have a chance to get some type of scars if I can. But like just helping whoever I can help. You mm-hmm. know, because I have the knowledge, 
and I know, you know, skill for skill, how important it is. You know, I'm not the most athletic player. Yeah. So I know what it means. You know, and I'm it's doing it for free. It's like, I owe it to people because I've had two mentors in my life. Yep. That's really helped me, you know, be the basketball player. And without them, who knows where I would be. Facts, facts, yeah. facts. So any, um, any kids that you're working out right now? So the main one right now, I mean, I, I work out Lyron. I'm um, Lyron Bennett. Lefty, right? Yeah, man, I ended up working out. Oh, I've been working out for the last two years. But he already has it. He's he's different. He's at a Division Two Southern Connecticut. I expect him to have a big year. Yeah. So he won the state chip at. Uh, yeah, he won two. He won two at oh Tech. I, I, he's different. So yeah. I've been trying to like you know, just help him. You know, help him through anything. You know, just be there. Like whatever he's going through, through the hoop. You know what I mean? Like train him, help him, but just you know, and all facets of life, like you know. Shout out to Lyron for yeah, real. Yeah, he's that guy. He's hopefully that you guy. get on that D one level and he's put on the show. He's that guy bro. for sure. I didn't see him play a couple yeah. times, bro. He's cold, mm -hmm. cold blooded. So you working out, kids? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You working out yourself? Yeah. So talk about. I know you. You got workout partners, like you were saying. You know, somebody who passed on the knowledge to you. Yeah. Which is somebody we both know, Greg. Yeah. What does Greg mean to you? So Greg means the um he means the most to me. I feel like we met at nine mm -hmm. at the Dorchester Y and um How did y'all how, how did that, that meeting come about? Was he did he see you just shooting? I don't know. He was just I really don't even remember at this point, but he used to just he told me how to ugly jump shot. He was always around. <laughs> and you know what I mean? He just I guess his mission was to help kids in that area because that's where he was at. Yeah. And um, you know, he just helped me a lot. Like we're working now. I'm talking about He's getting up six in the morning before work, working me out. You yep. know, and I'm not paying. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. like, like it's all community. You know what I mean? It's community love. Yep. And, you know, he helped me become the player I was. Fact. So, you know what I mean? Without him, who knows where I would be at the basketball level. So, the fact that he did that to me and I'm, you know, I'm 27, I finally realized, like, hold on. Like, he was, really he was doing this free of charge. Like, he's pushing me. Like, I owe that to, you know, I owe that to, to anybody I can because... There's a bunch of kids that can't pay, but they, they have a chance to do something special and hoop. So I owe that. Like, I feel like people did that for me. I owe that. It's not yeah. even like a question, you know? Facts, facts, facts. Them yeah. chairs definitely killed them chairs dude, bro. killing. That one minute, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You got to go through the chairs. He's like, Renee, do it first, man. I'm like, bro, everybody could be like Renee, <laughs> exactly, man. Like, exactly. Yo, boy's about to be a pro. You feel exactly. what I'm saying? So, facts. You know, there was another... <laughs> There's another person that, that you um had too, Alex. Yep, yep. yep. Shout out to Alex. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. So so Alex is like my Alex is like my big bro, bro. He's helped me through life and you know, he helps me train now. He's just attention to detail. That's his big thing right now. So, you yeah. know. He really does his thing and you know what I mean? He really helps in every category of my life What's still. Your, what would you say is your your favorite part of Alex's workout? Or what's one drill or my favorite part? I think um I think my favorite part is, you know, a lot of screens. He has me, like, coming off the screens, mm -hmm. snaking them, coming off. Like, Ray just pay attention to the reads. Yep, yep, yep. So, yep. like, you know, he's really focused on that. Like, getting me game shots that I would take in an overseas Facts. game. Facts. I seen some of y'all workouts, bro, and yeah. they definitely intense, and they definitely, for sure, you know what I'm for saying? For sure, yeah. You got you to gotta be focused, bro, mm -hmm. when you're working out with A, because he ain't playing. <laughs> you nah, know what I'm saying? Nah, my boy's not playing. Nah, not at all. So, um, we talked about, hey, so yeah. we really ain't getting to your, your folks. How, how, what do your parents mean to you? And just like yeah. the journey they took on and like being there for you, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. basketball star, they take you yeah. to, to everywhere you need to be. When um, you both younger. of my parents, so they were born in Honduras. So, you know, yeah. they're more saga, but like, you know, that their son was a good basketball player. So they just supported me. Yeah. My dad bringing me all the game, my mom being my rock through everything emotion. So like. They mean the world, like they done everything. They supported, they supported me mm -hmm. through all my games. Like you know, that's a big thing. You know what I mean? Just yep. being there, present at exactly. the games. They don't even necessarily have to know what's going, going on. on. Just them being, just there. them being there. You know, you'll Ill. let them know what's going on yeah. once you score, exactly. once you get a stop. Exactly, you know what exactly. What but they knew. You know what I mean? So, Shout out to your folks yeah, for real. Yeah, some good people. But my people. Yeah. yeah, I remember after the Garden game, my dad was in Honduras, uh -huh. and I remember like all his co-workers was calling him like, "Yo, you missed the biggest game of his life." You know, they didn't know, but you missed the, one of the biggest games of his life. Yep. He's like, we're, we're grabbing a newspaper because he works at Children's Hospital. We're grabbing yep. a newspaper. His face is all over it. Like, where you at? You know? Yeah, like, yeah you it was really crazy. put on. Yeah, for Facts. sure. Facts. 
So, um, yeah, parents is good. So, anybody, before we, before we get out of here real quick, I'm going to ask you a couple yeah, more questions. Of course. Anybody you looked up to in the um, Boston area, like basketball players, like where you was just like, you went, maybe you went to a game or maybe you saw something on TV and you was just like, yo, that's like, for me personally, when I saw Shabazz play, that did something for me. Like, I was just like, yo, bro, I got to get my game up. You, when I see mm-hmm. you play. It was just like, yo, I got to get my game yeah. up. New Orleans, when I saw him play, it was like, yeah, I got to get my game up. But, bro, I'm not 6'11". Yeah, I'm exactly. Not I'm not 6'11", like, fam. I'm not the best shot blocker in exactly. the nation. Like, mm-hmm. So, you know, seeing you guys, like you, Wayne, even even yeah. Jalen, because he's younger than me, seeing yeah. him ball out like that. Even Kenny, Kenny too. Even seeing yeah. Kenny hoop. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Seeing y'all hoop, it was, it was good for me. So, Fuck. anybody that you seen that was just like, all right. I'm gonna be better than him, or I'm gonna be as good as him. Um, like I'm, I don't think I looked up to anybody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I always respected people in in the city. Yeah. But I don't think I like oh like yo I'm trying to be like him as a player. Yeah. I kind of just think I was my own player just because I was a little bit, I wasn't the most athletic and yep. I wasn't the fastest. Okay. So I never really, you know what I mean? I really just focused on my skill development. Fact. But like, yeah, I, I mean, used to watch those guys. I remember I used to watch in the cities, like radio. Yep. He used to go crazy. Shout I remember radio, radio was, was different at Madison, for sure. Yeah. And obviously, like, I remember, like, you know, everyone knows Shabazz, and he was just he was just at a different level. Like you could tell, like, he could miss. He didn't go three for 18, but you know he's the best player on the court. Fact. So he was different. You know, yeah. everyone knew that, but yeah. Determining my guy, I just felt like my game was different than everybody. I'm not the fastest, mm-hmm. and I'm not I'm not jumping the highs, but you gonna I really I really just knew the IQ, and I really knew how to play. So I think I was just focusing on my game at that point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, some of the your top five basketball players. So my top five would be of all time or or nah, right now. Uh, to, yeah, you could say right now to watch. Right now, I ain't gonna put you on the yeah, all time drink. Yeah, the all times hard, but right now I would say. Obviously, James, Kyrie, yes, Steph. Sir. You know, like, I know you love big cuz. Yeah, yeah. But I just like, you know, I just love when they dribble. Obviously, Steph, Steph. But Kyrie's probably my favorite out of more just because I just don't. He's just, he's just really unpredictable. Like, yeah. every time you see him play, he'll pull out something like, oh, no. my God. Like, yeah. where did you learn that? You feel me? Yeah, like, bro. His, yo, bro, his game is different. It's different. And the angles he takes. The angles. And it's crazy because you're kind of like that with yeah, the angles. The I remember angles, one time I somebody really, was like, yo, Renee score, you know, he take it off the angles, bro. I'm like, yo, I need to learn how to score off angles. Off the angles. It's you like, feel me? Exactly. So I feel like. So you got Kai. Yep. You got, got Kai, James. James. And I would say who I like is must watch. I'm trying to think like, is like. Dane. Dame, Dame's in there for sure. Mm-hmm. And I would say my fifth is Luca, man. He's Yo, slower. Luca. I like Luca. I love Luca. Luca's different. You yeah, know? Like, bro. He's tough. Like, like he really gets, you know what I mean? He's like yeah. a LeBron in terms of stats, but he's unathletic. But in terms of stats, they Very. put up the same numbers. Yeah. You feel Fact. me? Fact. For sure. Um, What about Trey Young? What you think about him? Tough? Trey Young's up there, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying like I mean he's must watch TV. Like that's the guy. Oh yeah, the TV's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's definitely. he's about to get active. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Definitely. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, we just finished up, man. That's what the, it is. What it is. It's over. Yeah. We had our episode. You feel we me? We had a legend in the building. Yeah, yeah you we already. We got it done. We finally. Yes, finished. sir, my boy. Appreciate gang. you for coming, bro. You already, man. Right, much more ahead. to come, gang. You know that.